This is a video showing how to export data from SparkView 4.0 and later. I've previously collected data for position, velocity, and acceleration. Now I wish to export the data to Excel. To do that, I'll click on the hamburger menu or the three parallel lines at the upper left hand side of the screen. Then I'll go down to export data. It'll ask me for the name of the data uh, file that we want to export to, and I will say exported motion data 3. Once I've done that, I can then go to Excel. It will export the data as a comma separated value. So it's important that you have it look for all of the types of files. So we'll go to File and Open, go to Computer, Desktop, and then here's our file that's uh, listed as a CSV3. Uh, by default, it will go to all Excel files, but if you don't see the file that you're looking for, please go to All Files. And once you've done that, double click on the file. To help clean this up, um, you can double click between the columns so that it will auto scale a column to show the data that's contained within that column. And you'll probably need to replicate that for each of your columns here. So we can see here that these two characters have mapped improperly. In this case, this uh, A with the, the hat, we want to get rid of, so we'll copy this. We'll press Control H so that we can replace it. We'll paste it into the find what, and then under the replace with, we can make sure that is empty. So if you know that this is a character that you don't want anywhere in your data file, you can then click on replace all. And if we look carefully up here, once we click that button, it'll confirm how many replacements were made, and those units are now cleaned up. This can be especially helpful if you have multiple runs of data that you need to make that uh, replacement for.